So welcome to this video blog diary uh, of our mission to Ghana. It's five in the morning on Saturday the 23rd of February. Uh, my name is Joel Dunning. I'm about to go and join our team uh, as we go to Newcastle to then fly via Amsterdam all the way to Accra. Um, I've got my giant bag because I've packed far too much. I've got another bag and uh, it's going to be 37 degrees centigrade out there so I think I'm going to take this off. Uh, I've got a third bag so I think first lesson probably is don't pack too much and send it uh, by freight. Anyway, let's go meet the team and uh, get this mission started. Hi, I'm Mike Foley, I'm an anaesthetist, so I'll be anaesthetising the people who will be having heart surgery and helping look after them in the intensive care unit in their immediate post-op recovery period, so that's my role. Just tell us the fun you've had today and what you've got in your bag. The fun I've had today, um, the, the real problem with this trip has been logistics. I've realised how much we rely on everybody around us supporting us at work. And for this trip we had to do it ourselves and today my worry was trying to get about 10 kilograms of drugs through um, a check-in onto a flight to Amsterdam. Um, and with a little bit of persuasion and some paperwork and a couple of smiles, we're okay. Yeah. I'm taking drugs to Amsterdam and beyond. <laughs> yeah, well, well done. <laughs> Good stuff. I'm Kim, I'm the perfusionist on this trip, the only perfusionist on this trip, and we've currently arrived in Holland and uh, hope this evening that we'll be arriving in Africa. So, uh, yes. And so what's been the biggest challenge uh, in organising this trip? You've been getting all the bypass circuits together, haven't you? I have certainly, and uh, I guess the biggest challenge has been organising uh, the sort of donations, if you like, from all the different companies and the manufacturers, um, and bringing together all that equipment, but then also finding out what sort of hardware we need to take with us, and all those little tiny items, little things you, you might not think of that you're going to need when you get there, so they're the worries, really. All the main companies have, have been more, more than generous, and uh, so Levenova and Mackay, um, and uh, Medtronic in, in particular, um, who have donated a lot of the uh, small um, disposables um, and so yeah I think everyone's sort of pulled together um, a particular mention of this, this probably one of the smaller companies um, it's GTA and a chap called David Skinner who's given us our, our clotting um, measuring mechanism which uh, is, is absolutely vital so uh, I must mention that. Yeah, and I guess you're probably most looking forward to actually seeing a bypass machine there aren't you? I am indeed I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing one and seeing one switched on and actually going round and round so <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm Andy Turley, I'm one of the cardiology consultants at James Cook from Middlesbrough. Uh, so I'm there as general cardiologist, but uh, more specifically as the pacemaker person. So I'll be uh, implanting pacemakers out there. Yeah, and in terms of the preparation and getting pacemakers out there, how have we done that? Yeah, no, so huge team effort, all the logistics of getting the kit out, um, but we've been really fortunate that the UK-based charity, Pace for Life, have donated the pacemakers uh, to us. So I was out there in 2004, yeah, 2004-2005 ta type time, um, largely teaching and education. Uh, so I spent two weeks out there teaching the residents cardiology in preparation for their sort of postgraduate exams, MRCP equivalent for the UK. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the hospital, see how it's come on. Uh, certainly back then there were no real local cardiologist and there certainly wasn't a cardiac surgeon um, so things have clearly advanced um, but it's a great place people are great staff are fantastic really friendly really welcoming which is what we've seen so far as well with all the uh, 
emails and telephone calls to the team up. I'm Nick Child, I'm a cardiologist and I specialise in doing lots of scanning and imaging people and I've come along to do some ultrasound scanning of our patients both before and after their operations and the ultrasound machine is in this suitcase. We've been very fortunate because um, Philips uh, have loaned us uh, this ultrasound machine which has a TOE probe with it. Uh, they've been very generous. Um, it's, a, it's a great machine because it's portable and it can all fit in this one case and we'll be able to use it for both transesophageal echo and transthoracic echo as we need to. And then in addition we have a fantastic little portable machine that um, fits in this little case which will enable us to do um, some transthoracic echoes on our patients, particularly those after operations for having a quick look at the heart, check everything's gone well. So um, uh, yeah, we've been, we've been very fortunate to have that support, so yeah. And, yeah. and you've seen some of the clinical details of the patients, yeah. and what do you think the particular challenges are going to be that we're going to be faced with when we get there? So uh, well in the first instance, although we've been given some really helpful information so far, we're keen to actually see the hearts and the valves as cells on the ultrasound machine so that we know exactly what the problems are with the heart valves and just how bad um, things are so that uh, Enoch and his team know exactly what they're dealing with when they uh, get into theatre and start surgery. So the first challenge is going to be getting the patients ready for their scans and getting some good pictures so that we know exactly what we're dealing with uh, come Monday when, we, uh, when the team starts operating. Hello, hi, I'm Poo Alani, I'm one of the registrars who will be helping and assisting in whatever way I can. <laughs> what sort of things do you think you'll be doing? I think I'll be uh, primarily assisting uh, with the surgeries and then uh, maybe looking after the patients afterwards in the ICU as well. Great. Hi, I'm Caroline Baldwin and I'm the scrub nurse on the mission. <laughs> and are you looking forward to going to Garda? Yes, I am, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> really exciting. Brilliant. Well, well done for coming on the trip. Thank you. Thank you. My, uh, my name is Jan. I'm an aesthetist. <laughs> and you're looking forward to coming on the trip. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so I just wanted to say a few things about uh, how we funded the trip. Uh, my first tip is really to start early. We started uh, around a year ago uh, fundraising for this chip, trip and, uh, and have been working for about six months really in earnest. So the first thing that we're massively grateful for was Lee Vanova who gave us £11,000 and our valves which really kicked off uh, our our reality, the reality that we were going to do a mission uh, and also Abbott uh, were very generous in giving further valves. Uh, also uh, Gettinger were brilliant in giving us a load of bypass circuits so we had 15 bypass circuits to take with us which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, now funding rounds take really quite a long time so unfortunately we weren't successful with the Medtronic Foundation or the Edwards Every Heartbeat Matters funding. Uh, they do get a lot of people uh, applying for it so so really the other 20,000 quid uh, that we needed to raise uh, because it's cost 30,000 pounds to, to go on this mission uh, has been from the local people of Middlesbrough in the northeast uh, where we've done lots of fundraising events and activities I hope we'll be able to do funding in different ways and, and even part of this video is so that we can get prepared for our next mission but uh, if there is one tip I would give it start early uh, and remember that the the large funding societies do really have quite long time frames uh, for their applications. actually made it so safely through customs looking forward to a big day tomorrow where we're going to go all the way up to Kamasi meet Enoch and Emily and uh, see our first patients but uh, who's looking forward to their hotel bed <laughs> so thanks for watching this first installment uh, tomorrow is really going to be day one where we actually go to the hospital we'll meet our surgeons and we'll meet our first patients Thank you very much to our sponsors and to everybody in Middlesbrough that sponsored us as well. 
uh, and I hope you look forward to tomorrow's edition. Uh, here's a list of uh, ways you can get involved as well. Thank you for watching. <laughs>